Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to today's uh, pick a card reading and it is his current thoughts. It's also her current thoughts, but yeah, his current thoughts. I hope you're all good. Welcome to anyone new. Welcome back to anyone returning. My name's Kat. I hope you enjoy the reading today. If you want a private reading with me, you can check the description box below. Other than that, today's reading is general and intuitive, so just take whatever resonates, leave what doesn't. Uh, without further ado, let's get on with today's reading, which is his or her current thoughts. Here we go. So, his or her current thoughts for group one. Queen of Wands, the Empress, the Sun, I'm sorry, <laughs> Nine of Swords and the Nine of Cups, uh, dreams coming true. So this person um, is thinking really, really well of you and of the situation. We've got this double feminine energy here. We've got the Queen of Wands, which I interpret in my... In uh, my readings as almost like the divine feminine in the everyday world and then we've got the empress which again is to me is the divine feminine more in the major arcana so in the major arcana sorry so it's more in uh on on a slightly different level so to me we've got the divine feminine twice we've got the sun here which of course is the masculine but it's also a sign of new beginnings power being able to have new beginnings birth new situations and the nine of cups is the dreams coming true so this is largely a very empowered energy this is seeing you as a bright shining light this is seeing a new beginning around you this is seeing you as someone inspiring someone uplifting someone they want to move forwards with it's a dream come true it's um happiness it's pleasure it's something really positive for this person the Nine of Swords in here says, though, that there are some mental doubts. There are some... Uh, so what I mean by mental doubts is they're not like... Their gut feeling and their general feeling is good. And it's like good things are happening and good situations... Oh, sorry. <laughs> good situations are, are happening and are coming about. And they feel good about it. But like they've got a lot of mental noise or they have mental anxiety about certain aspects or they've got a lot of fears quite a lot of unfounded fears they may even be having quite a lot of anxiety that's causing them this is the classic sleepless nights card so they could be that worried about it or it might just be a niggling thing but it's a mental uh everyday level maybe even ego level problem rather than a deep feeling that of something being wrong with the situation because I see that they are seeing you really well and they're thinking about new beginnings, they're thinking about new starts and they're thinking about quite literally what this card says, dreams coming true. Hope this makes sense guys, loads of love, I'll see you on the next reading or on a private reading in the meantime, see you soon. Hi group two, so his or her current thoughts, we've got the Hierophant, Ten of Wands, Seven of Coins, Two of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Okay, which is new vitality here. This person feels like uh, their thoughts at the minute are that it's hard work. There's a lot of dedication going on here. There's a lot of feeling committed to a big project or having a huge amount of responsibility with this Ten of Wands. It doesn't mean it's bad. There could be a real sense with the Hierophant, Hierophant next to it that they feel really committed to an important situation they feel like they've got commitment and responsibility on their mind there's a lot of heaviness that said with the 10 and the ace of wands there's this sense of a new beginning endings and new beginnings positive new cycles the two of cups says this person is thinking that you or this situation or this new situation that they're going towards could be a soulmate and that's what it looks like to me because we've got the two of cups. It's the beginning stages of that divine connection. So this feels like this person feels there's a huge amount of responsibility. They may be even stuck in a situation, one or two of them. But on the whole, this is saying that, yeah, they're not. There's the. It could be that they're dedicated to you and that there is something in you or your, yours and their situation that's a lot of responsibility or it might be some responsibility that they're dealing with currently. Whichever one it is, what I see is they've got a huge amount of responsibility but they're looking to a new start. They're feeling inspired to a new beginning with you or in a new situation with whatever this Two of Cups is. Um, 
Uh, the seven of coins here says that it's a lot of work. I feel that with the ten of co ten of wands as well. There's a lot of work. There's a lot of choices to be made. Um, they've got to make a decision this way or that way. They've got different options. Um, I really feel like if this person works hard at a situation, they know that it's it's a lot of work, but it's going to be worth it in the end. And they do feel very positive about the outcome. So I hope this makes sense. Loads of love, guys. I'll see you on the next reading or on a private reading in the meantime. See you soon. Hi, group three. How are you doing? So here's our her current thoughts. Nine of cups. Oh, that was in group one as well in the other uh, deck. Nine of cups, the lovers, four of swords, five of swords and the flow card, which is the wheel of fortune. So here's our her current thoughts. Uh, we've got a bit of a thing about cycles here with the five of swords being a cycle that you keep repeating maybe a negative cycle that's repeated we've also got the flow card here which is the wheel of fortune which is the cycle um what i would say is that this person uh their current thoughts are that they i feel like okay yeah with the five of swords the four of swords and the flow card here and then this i feel like they're wanting to break out of an old cycle. Their thoughts are to go to a higher level in order to avoid making the same mistakes. So there's been something they've been doing that's been creating the same mistake over and over again. They've been going round in circles here with the five of swords, yeah, round and round. But now they want to take a break from that four of swords. This is classic, something's been hurting me, I'm going to cut ties with it. Um, and I'm going to recuperate, rejuvenate, recalibrate, reconnect with myself, etc. And this is what I see here. With the lovers, there's a maturity here. There's a choice. There's a taking um, a path that has come through experience of knowing what's right for this person. This person feels very happy. Um, with the Nine of Cups as the opening card, there's a sense of pleasure, happiness, of joy. This person... I feel like this person's got a better idea of what's right for them and what they want. They've learned a lot and now they're making choices towards how to break that old cycle and to move things forwards, to go to a new level, to leave the past behind and to be able to start a new journey with this flow card. So I really do think that this is the key and this is the essence. They don't want to keep doing the old things that didn't get them anywhere. They're taking a break and the moment and that might be why you've not heard from this person or why this person's a little distant or whatever because we're talking about lots of different people in lots and lots of different situations. But what I see is this person is taking a break and they are reconnecting with themselves, reconnecting with their truth and they are overcoming this old cycle. Because the flow card is a positive cycle. The five of swords to me here represents the negative cycle that was of a lot lower energy. It was a kind of ego everyday cycle, getting caught up in the hamster wheel of life almost. Whereas the flow is about going towards your destiny, um, good luck, positive turn of events, things changing for the better, and this person getting into the flow. So I feel like they've made choices and they've made positive changes to move towards their destiny. And that's what their current thoughts are of this. You know, that they're changing for the better. They're moving in a new direction and they're making better choices. So I hope this makes sense. Loads of love, guys. I'll see you on the next reading or on a private reading in the meantime. See you soon. Bye.